Hey, this is Larry, and we're here uh, with Martin, a.k.a. Tony Stark. Uh, how are you doing today? Doing great. How are you? Doing good. Now, did you make this costume yourself? Yeah, I made the entire costume by myself. I used different plastics uh, from where I work at and just uh, threw it together. I had friends help me out in some parts and got it through. It came out pretty nice. Oh, it looks awesome. Now, are you Tony Stark or are you Antonio Stark? It's Antonio Sparks. <laughs> Antonio Sparks. I love it. I love it. Now, is this made of iron or would you say aluminum cans that you picked up off the side of the road? <laughs> aluminum cans on the side of the road. Yes. Bud Light, right? Yes, all Bud Light. <laughs> That's awesome. Got some corona in there, too. Oh, we got some Corona? Oh, you must have a job then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm Susan with the Star Wars Society of San Antonio. That is so awesome. You have a uh, booth set up here at the NDG SciFest. Um, tell me about your costume that you're wearing. I actually do the Rebel Fleet Trooper, which is one of the rarer ones that you'll see. Most of our organization do the Jedi, or they do Sith, or they do... We've got our founder does Han Solo. Tell me, what does the Star Wars Society of San Antonio do on a regular basis? Like, what do you guys do? We go to a lot of different charity events. We go to, like, the CF Run to the Tower. We go and do things like the runs over at SeaWorld for the lung, American lung cancer. You know, we make appearances. Sorry, do you do these runs in costume? No, okay. <laughs> absolutely not. All right, I was going to say, that'd be really hot in San Antonio running around in this costume. I'm Natalie Kite, and I'm dressed up as a classic Baroness with a belly dance twist. I'm in the Bedouin Dancers, and we just performed earlier. Our group's been around for more than 25 years. We do um, tribal, Middle Eastern, Egyptian classical dance. Everybody dressed as sci-fi. Awesome, and you put the G.I. Joe twist on it, so that's pretty badass. What are you? I'm a Twi'lek. A Twi'lek? What exactly is a Twi'lek? Well, they're originally from the planet Ryloth, and most of them are slave dancers, but I actually own a, a pawn store on Talus, which is in the Corellia system. I am Batwoman. Okay, yes, and I've been told by my uh, comic book aficionado friend not to call you Batgirl, correct? Right, or Red Batgirl, or Catwoman, or Black Widow, or anything else. That's okay, all right, Batwoman. What's the difference between Batwoman and Batgirl? They're totally different characters, different people. Tell me, how long have you been dressing up as Batwoman? Probably since last October. Uh, we have coffee here. Who are you dressed as, sir? I'm John Constantine, known as Hellblazer. Uh, are you uh, smoking um, menthols, or does Hellblazer smoke just straight up red? Uh, it has to be as harsh as hell. No, you can't have any cool. It's got to be something burning. You know, you always got some fire going. No, I got you. So do you think that uh, would smoke those electronic cigarettes? Heck no. No, that's vapor. What if it was hell? What if it was hell vapor? Uh, does it require flame? <laughs> no, you're right. Okay. And your name, ma'am? Christina. And Sean. Sean. Okay. And you both are uh, obviously cosplaying X Men, obviously Cyclops, and then White Queen. Uh, how long have you guys been dressing up or cos cosplaying? Um, this is actually our third or fourth time. We started last March. We got into it because a friend, she inspired me to do uh, cosplaying and, and uh, things like this. And I really liked it. And Alamo City has really helped us out. So we're uh, pretty excited. And we're here with Apple from Alamo City Comic Con. Yes, that's me. Tell us about the Alamo City Comic Con. Alamo City Comic Con is coming this October 25th through 27th. Plan to bring the biggest celebrities that have ever come to San Antonio and also the biggest artists that have never even set foot into Texas to San Antonio first. I'm most excited about uh, San Antonio actually witnessing their first big Comic-Con. That's something that I always wanted, with, especially with the celebrities and the artists that are coming. I mean, these are some big artists that only go to New York, uh, San Diego, and they all split up after that and attend some little cons here and there. But this is be the biggest one where we actually gather them together like San Diego. We're asking three questions on our podcast. Uh, the first question is, was there anything either comic book related, sci-fi related, movie, video game, anything that had a huge hype that was like, like had a whole lot of hype that either did or didn't live up to the hype that you can remember? There's a few things I wasn't real pleased with, like the Lord of the Rings. You know, my husband and I had both read it and we're going, eh. We can see why he had to take liberties here and there. The Avengers, I, I had a nerdgasm in my seat and you know how to clean it up. Uh, so it lived up to the hype. Yes, it did, it did. I loved it. All the Marvel movies that led up to the Avengers were the best things that came out. And they're still coming out with really great movies. So when Star Wars was coming out, uh, we went to it and I totally did not understand who Darth Vader was. I just knew I liked the guy in the black suit and he was awesome. Christopher Nolan, he makes a good series for the trilogy of Batman, but they're not Batman. He creates his own characters and he names them after famous characters to get money. It's a very good series, but it's not Batman. Definitely the G.I. Joe movie from a couple years back. Um, it was terrible. It did not live up to the hype. 
Not at all. Did you, did you see the sequel? Yes, it's equally terrible. Is there a comic book or science fiction movie that you think should be made that hasn't been? And if so, who do you think should play the characters? Definitely, I'd like him to do the Thrawn trilogy. And so that was kind of uh, after Return of the Jedi, about 10 years or so, that uh, they had a whole trilogy of more events that happened. I am waiting for Savage Dragon. I think Savage Dragon is a, a wonderful character uh, created by Eric Larson. The only one that's big enough right now I think they could probably do it is Rock. Plus, he painted himself green for uh, Incredible Hulk on a, on a Twitter page, so I think we can pull that off. Elf Quest. Oh, Elf Quest. Why? Nice. We want to see Spider Man in the Avengers. That's what everybody is trying to get. They really need to do Constantine again. Keanu Reeves is not Constantine, Keanu Reeves is Neo. The guy from Boondock Saints. Uh, whichever one wanted the role. I'd have to say I've gotten into Miss Marvel. And I'm thinking um, Hayden Panettiere. Wolverine's my man, but they're, they're making his movies. I'm satisfied. I mean, everybody else is kind of chopped liver to me. Actually, it's already been made. It was awful. The Daredevil movie. I'd like that to be remade. And as for casting, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm open to just anyone other than Ben Affleck. Electra needs to be remade as well. Monica Bellucci, but she's too old. Anything that hasn't been made. I'd go for anything okay. Marvel or DC or any superheroes. Runaways would be awesome. Third and final question. If you had to choose between telepathy and telekinesis, which would you choose and why? Telepathy. It's just easier if you know what's going to happen before somebody thinks they're going to say something stupid. Telekinesis, because that's more of like moving objects. And um, I'm a big fan of Teen Titans and Raven is one of my favorites, so I have to go with that. Since she's my girlfriend, I'm going to say uh, telepathy. Uh, why is that? Uh... I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. Okay. I would say telekinesis okay. because you could probably make more money that way. Telekinesis because telepathy would drive me crazy. Nice. Okay. Do my middle name and last name is Jean Grey. For real? Yes. No way. I was named after my dad's ex-girlfriend. Get it? Yeah, probably the telekinesis. Yeah. Because I'm not a good housekeeper. It would be telekinesis. You could be bulletproof then. Telepathy, mind control. It could get me whatever I wanted. We've been talking about moral play. People like, it's not morally right to dig in people's brains. What do you have to say about that? Um. Okay, right? Exactly. F it. <laughs>